What's up, everybody? It's your buddy Chopadon coming at you with another episode of Chop Talk brought to you by DFSArmy.com, your one stop shop for everything DFS related. Uh, I'm your host, Chopadon. You can follow me out on Twitter. You can also find me inside DFSArmy.com as a content provider, writer, coach, whatever you want to call it, and also a content editor. So, um, a lot of content came out today as part of hashtag Freebie Friday. So I hope you took advantage. I'm going to break down a smaller slate today. I'm going to focus more on the after hours slate. So hopefully you're able to take advantage of that too. Big slates, man, they're crap shoots. They're wide open. We've got a lot of stud pitchers. Got a lot of bats in great positions. It's wide open. You can't possibly cover all those bases and narrow things down. I prefer the smaller slates. I prefer to uh, kind of tighten up the player pool by process of elimination just by lopping off a bunch of those bigger bats and giving myself a better chance to really hone in on what I think are the better plays of the day and give me an advantage on a smaller slate above everybody else than, and where they might be thinking. So let's dive in. I haven't seen the slate. I All I know is that I'm focused on the 8 o'clock, the 840 game, the 10 o'clock games, and that's the slate that I'm looking at today. It has uh, Colorado and Oakland on it, uh, then Seattle, L.A., Arizona, San Diego, Milwaukee, San Francisco, and I feel there are two offenses, Colorado and L.A., that are standing head and shoulders above the others as far as the matchup that they're in today. We'll see if this bears out. And if so, maybe we'll pick up a third offense or so that is not being considered on that late slate, and we'll see if we can't uh, target the better offenses tonight on the smaller slate where we have to pick up some of those second, third, fourth options to make the slate rounded out. You know, Grant, you've already killed a lot of the great pitchers tonight that are on that earlier slate. Uh, Granke obviously is a little overpriced. He had a big game. His price is way up there. you got to be thinking that at 11,000, you've got to be thinking he's got to score about 55 points. Now, can he? Sure, he put up 70. But I don't know that he can put up 55 on any given night. Andrew Haney put up 40 to 45. Madison Bumgarner, 40 to 45. Chase Anderson, 35 to 40. You're in the same boat value-wise. You're in that same 5X price range. I like to look at nights like tonight and see where the downgrades come from out of the difference between FanDuel and DraftKings. There's a similar downgrade, you know, a slight downgrade here with Grinky. Obviously, DK is more dynamic than FanDuel in their pricing, so FanDuel really cranked this price up, whereas DraftKings said, whoa, wait, not so fast. There's something about the matchup DraftKings does not like, or they would not have hesitated to throw him to 11-5 or something like that. Uh, Haney, a little bit of value maybe built in there, according to this theory that I like to use. Madison Bumgarner, similar price. Now look at the downgrade between Chase Anderson. This actually puts San Francisco in a good spot. If you're a contrarian guy, you might stack them up. Um, similar, similar. There's one that's a little bit higher priced. That tells me Wade LeBlanc might be LeBlanc might be in play. Uh, Freeland not. Look at the downgrade he just took in facing that Oakland offense. Now there's a theory also going around that Oakland's very, very tired. I don't know. They're hot. I don't know that I believe that necessarily. I can stay away from them tonight. I don't think they're one of my better offenses tonight. Uh, but there's you know a couple of guys in there that we will look at that are running hot. And, of course, Perdomo is going to carry the lowest DFSA grade, so that puts Arizona in a good spot by default. When I scroll over, I want to check their overall ratings. There's 91 out of Granky, and then they drop to 66 and 60 and down into the 50s. The bottom three are definitely stackable against. So that puts us on Arizona, Oakland, and L.A. Colorado's not too far behind. I do like Colorado tonight. I saw something nifty out of uh, Boomer's Daddy inside our Slack forums that showed that Manaya is it doesn't profile well against the Rockies. So I'm going to like them. I know I like the Angels already. So these are the two offenses I'm really targeting, and I'm going to look at these other two, Oakland and Arizona. So I'm going to go ahead and underline them on my notepad as the other offenses to look at. I can largely ignore San Francisco, Milwaukee, Seattle, uh, San Diego. Those types, I may look at an Andrew Haney. I don't necessarily like going up against Seattle, but, you know, Madison Bumgarner. Let's take a look really quick over here at the Vegas odds. Again, we try to do this as quickly and efficiently as possible. granky has got the big odds. Haney and Bumgarner, 135, not terrible. Carrying the lower totals to the seven and a halfs. Um, I don't know. I'm going to run back over here and look at my K score numbers. What do we got? 26 to 25. It's a 510, 519 out of Granky. That's fine, of course. 450, quite the drop off to Haney. 420, another drop off to Bumgarner. 
440, 450 comes up a little bit with Anderson. So it looks like Grinky is the lead dog on the slate. Haney's risky. Bumgarner might be your second best option. It does drop off a little bit more in K-score. I still like Haney's price. I'm a sucker for these $8,000 pitchers, and the reason why is they can hit 40 points. If I run in here to this slate in particular tonight, and I load up the pitchers and I take a peek, Now, Grinky's going to show me a, a little bit of up and down. How often is he hitting 55 points? He's not that safe. It's okay. That's not going to kill me. But, you know, the 22 is going to hurt. The 20 would hurt. Otherwise, uh, honestly, not terrible. How often is uh, Bumgarner hitting 45? Never. Way back here twice this year. Overpriced. Can't run Bumgarner. Now, if he does it tonight, good on him. How often is Haney hitting me 45, you know, 42 points, 42, 43? Okay, one, well, one, two, three, four. Four times out of his last, what, seven, and the other two didn't kill me. This will kill you. You can't have that. But it looks like it's pretty rare. Well, he got whacked again back here, too. But, you know, back here again. Haney, Haney, I don't mind him. I really, really don't mind him. Chase Anderson was the other one, and then we'll look at LeBanc just for fun. So 35 out of him, a little bit risky, not quite getting it. So none of these guys are really getting their numbers. 35 is a good last start. There's a lot of erratic stuff out of LeBlanc. So I'm going to run Haney, honestly, and I'll back him up. I might take a look at Granky. The way I'm going to look at Granky is I'm going to see if there's value on this slate before I start diving into these offenses. I'll go into the Trends tab. And I'll show you how you utilize this tool. It is Freebie Friday, by the way, so you follow the link in the coupon code or the, the link in the comment section of the video today, and you can maybe get on for these late slates if you haven't done so already. I'm going to go into greater than, and I'm going to punch in about a 360 or so. And I'm going to see who's swinging decent bats. And then I'm going to come over here to the FanDuel salary, and I'm going to take out anyone less than... $3,000. And the reason why is I want to bring those value bats right to the top as quickly as possible. See if I can roster an $11,000 pitcher. Looks like I'm going to have to do it with, well, i got to cut down these bats. Whoops. This 840 being blacked out tells me that that slate or that, that game doesn't have anyone in my parameters. It's going to all be the 10 o'clock games. Which is interesting. There's no cut. Look at this. Of the value bats, you got a lot of Arizona, you got a lot of San Francisco. So if you're going to run Granky tonight, you might run some Arizona San Francisco with him. You've got what a few of these San Francisco bats that are hitting good wobas. Chase Anderson, we know is vulnerable. Look at there. Now I'm going to turn my opinion back to San Francisco. I'm going to consider them. I wouldn't have seen that otherwise, but I'm going to consider them at this point. Definitely going to consider them. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut off this salary again. Hopefully you write some of those names down. There's the clear. I'm sorry, guys. I'm running a little bit slow. I've got a couple of things on my mind. Uh, when I run through here, now I'm going to keep the Woba the same, and I'm going to go through the offenses that we like. Well, we saw Arizona was in there. There's your playable names out of Arizona. Playable names out of Colorado. A couple of these guys are running well over 400 Wobas. These are the guys that are going to do most of the damage tonight. If, of course, these guys get starts. So Desmond and Blackman are definitely in play. LA is going to be a little bigger list. you got your, you know, four guys or so. If, if Fletcher starts, he's in play too. A look at Milwaukee, not much. Oakland's running okay. These are the names that you probably expect. Of course, not much out of San Diego. Seattle, not much out of Seattle. And San Francisco's got some guys that are not really playing a lot, so I suppose you'd have to take a look at that. looks like a lot of their starters are not doing so well, so these cheaper guys are going to need to get the starting lineup. If, if uh, Sandoval's in there, he's a nice little one-off. Doesn't look like we're going to stack San Francisco uh, like we might have thought just a couple of minutes ago, so we're going to have to you know, reconsider that. You can probably take San Francisco back off the list, but be prepared to use them as one-offs where you can. So point is, that's, what, that's really what we're looking at for this slate today. 
hopefully you can stack these guys up, use the Domination Station Optimizer to mix and match a lot of your lineups and get an overall picture. You've just seen the playables. You've seen who the hotter teams are. Still focused on Colorado, L.A., maybe a little bit of Arizona in there since their list is fairly big. And they're going up against Perdomo, who's you know typically not a, a bad guy to stack against. And we'll stay off of these other offenses. So these are the big three that I would go after. I think I'd stay off of Oakland based on the tired rumor. And I think I'd avoid the rest. So I might take a one-off out of a couple of these teams. But this is where my core stacks are going to come from. Hopefully uh, we see you out there in some of the bigger leagues and the GPPs tonight. Hopefully we take down a big one. Follow the link in the description to the video here. Give me a little subscribe. And, of course, consider becoming a VIP, as always, DFSArmy.com, where we talk an awful lot more one-on-one -on -one about coaching and about getting the fundamentals in place to make your game better. We're not lineup sellers. We're not lineup providers. We teach you how to build your own. We plug the leaks, and we make sure that you're an improving player day after day after day. So come and take a look. Come uh, hit me up inside Slack channels. We'll see you guys in there. Hopefully you have a great weekend, and we'll catch you again on Monday. Take care, guys.